good homies welcome back to my channel um, welcome to the first episode of taco chronicles i'm excited my you bad, should my get bad. excited <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Taco Bell. I am here with my good friend Darius. Because your name is Dexter. I'm oh, we want to throw out names. <laughs> we're in here. I'm here with Darius and Baby G. And we're going to. Um, this is our first stop for Taco Chronicles. We're going to try the tacos here and basically give you guys, share with you guys our overall experience. So, I hope you're ready. I'm ready. I'm excited. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay? So, we're here. We just order our food. Um, she has her chip. She shares with you guys, but she won't share with her mama. It's messed up, right? I'm sorry, ordered the essential tacos, the steak, the chicken, and the pork. And the baby is getting rice to go with it. Um, these guys were actually voted Chicago's yeah. best Al Pastor yeah. tacos. So that's exciting. Yeah. Can I have one? Can I have one? No, Gigi. Why is she looking? Yes. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you supposed to put You say it was hot like hot or hot like spicy? Spicy. Oh yeah, it look real spicy. <laughs> Okay, gotcha. I'm tweaking. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try the steak taco. Very 
Maybe it's because I just started eating pork again. Oh, yeah. It's going to tear your stomach up. It's okay. You're done for. I had two tacos. They were pretty good. Um, I'm on my chicken. Honestly, I'm full. But my dad has been to eat. No, you hate you hate against chicken anyway. The chicken hate. It's not even exciting. Look good. Look. We might have a nice look. It's juicy. It's not dry or anything. I mean, it's chicken. It's chicken. Coming off a of marinated pork, which is chicken. <laughs> I want orders here. Oh. We got two more. <laughs> <laughs> That though, if you ain't let it get too cold. Yeah. Let's get to it. Yeah. Yeah. to my first stop for Taco Chronicles and I just came back to recap with you guys um I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the overall experience the taste and the tacos the price because you know Jessica is cheap and proud of it you know 
just give you guys an overall view. Overall, um. So I'm going to share with you guys, you know, my overall experience with everything. Um, let's start with the most important thing. Price. No, um, I'm going to rate these on a scale of one to five. You know, one being poor, five being awesome for three things. Atmosphere, taste, and price, I think. I guess that's what I'm going to go with. Um, so let's start with atmosphere. Um, it is located on the west side of Chicago. It is, um pretty small you know i think it's like a stopping go spot go pick up your food i mean there were a couple of tables in there but it was pretty tight and it was me darius and baby g there um i think it was like maybe two tables for four people and then like three tables for two and like they had like bar stools at the counter so it's pretty small there um well a lot of people weren't eating there anyway a lot of people were coming picking up food and leaving um they're pretty fast with the food actually like we got our food pretty quick to be honest um and that's you know i'm hungry i'm always hungry i'm ready to eat when i'm ready to eat so we ordered we sat down and like two three minutes later bam tacos de la sara de pastor pollo bam 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 they're pretty quick that's a good thing right so um i went with the essentials you know steak chicken and pork they were actually voted Chicago's best El Pastor tacos. So, of course, I had to try those, right? Um, the steak was pretty typical. Pretty typical it was. It wasn't, like, bad or, like, mm, this is bomb, right? No, it wasn't. It was just typical steak taco. Um, the chicken... I honestly don't order chicken tacos. Like, I just don't. But Darius is like, you know, those are the top three, you know, or whatever. So get the chicken taco. So I got the chicken taco and it was a waste of money. It was chicken. It tastes like chicken. Nothing exciting. The Al Pastor was pretty good. It was pretty, pretty good, to be honest. It was delicious. It was really, the Al Pastor was good. It was good. I'm not going to curse. It was good as F-U-Z-K. So I did um, appreciate that. And then I really, 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 really wanted a chorizo taco. Like, it's chorizo. Um, so I went and ordered me a chorizo taco. And I think I got the, what else did I get? The ribeye with onions taco. When I tell you guys that chorizo had a party in my mouth and I didn't want that party to end. It was that delicious. And if you guys see, that taco was stuffed with chorizo. Like, it was stuffed. That was a big taco. And I appreciated every bite of it. I would definitely go back for the chorizo taco. That steak and onion, ribeye and onion, they could have kept that. Because honestly, it was more onion than meat. Um, it was a waste of my money. Um, so yeah, taste. Mm -hmm. Pricing, they're pretty typical. Back in the day, I remember tacos were like a dollar and some change. Dollar fifty, dollar sixty-five. You know, if you wanted extra, it was like I think like twenty-five, thirty-five cents for like oh you want sour cream is twenty-five cents. Nowadays tacos are two dollars and more, sometimes three bucks. You know what I'm saying? So for like a steak taco. It was two seventy nine, and it comes with either onions and cilantro or tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese. Those are like no, just tomato and lettuce. Mmm. New. No. Um. So you get onions and cilantro or tomatoes and lettuce. Like most people, I got just onions and cilantro on there because that's like the basic taco topping. But I did want sour cream on my taco, so I did get sour cream. But for like regular steak taco, it was two seventy nine. Um, pork and chicken were two sixty five. For that chorizo, it was three dollars, and baby, it was worth all three. I tell you. So that's they're like in the price range of every other taco spot in Chicago, about two fifty to three dollars for a taco. Um, 
so yeah i did have the horchata there the horchata was pretty bland like i think you guys hear me say like there's no cinnamon like i taste not one teaspoon of cinnamon in the horchata so i need to fix that and the rice my baby max that rice was pretty good it was good it was good it was good it was good 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 it was good she maxed that rice um so like for atmosphere i gave it like a three out of five tacos three out of five tacos for atmosphere you know it wasn't that bad i didn't see any cucarachas running around or whatever but it was you know pretty tight um taste man that chorizo taco that chorizo taco baby taste i give them a four out of five because that chorizo taco save them i will definitely go back and order like three chorizo tacos with the rice because that rice that rice was really good like it was really really good what's what did i say price price to get a three because you know typical price it wasn't like oh they had a, it was it no, it wasn't tuesday didn't have a sale you know oh buy three tacos get two free y'all taco spots definitely should be doing that you know buy three tacos get two free i'll be there every day i think everybody would but price is pretty typical so they get a three out of five for that uh, if you guys want to know where it's located, it's located at 2859 West Chicago Avenue on the corner where it's Chicago Avenue and Grand Meet. You know, Grand was this way and that way, whatever. It's right on the corner. Um, you can go in, you can call and order and pick up your food. If there are any seats, you can go in and sit down. Hopefully there are some seats. Um, they did have a high chair for my baby. They had one little high chair. Luckily, there was not another baby there because we could have been SOL. Um, but yeah, that was my first spot. For Taco Chronicles. Taco, 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 Taco Chronicles. What's popping? I cannot say this name. Don't judge me. Taco El Halesense. Halesense. Don't, I don't know. But yeah, here's the information. The phone number. Go tell them Jessica sent you. You get 0% off. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely recommend you guys go there and try the El Pastor and their chorizo and get a side order of rice because it was five buoy. Okay, but thank you guys for tuning in to Taco Chronicles part uno, 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 part one. Um, If you enjoyed and if you haven't already, bruh, if you haven't already, what you need to do, you already know what you need to do. Come on, subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up, like my video, hit that bell so you're notified whenever I post another awesome video, you feel me? And if you haven't already, check out my social media. I will put it down below my, what do I have? Um, Instagram, my Snapchat, and my Twitter will all be right down below. Um. If you have any other restaurants, taco restaurants, you think I should go check out, definitely comment below because I'm definitely open to try all taco restaurants in the Chicago area or neighboring areas, whatever. Let me know. Hit me up below on some real. Let me know what taco restaurants you think are, like, the best. It's fucking dog, bro. It's fucking dog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, peace, love, and guess what? Tacos.